In this video, I will be explaining level 909 of the backrooms, aka sensory deprivation. This is easily and by far the most grotesque, mortifying, and physically sickening level that I've ever read, and I think that's saying something considering I've done this for three years and have made over 400 videos. Level 909 takes the cake. Viewer discretion is advised. If you get squeamish around like flesh and stuff, do not watch, please, I beg you. Without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? And let's explore what I consider to be the most painful backrooms level of all time. Backrooms level 909 is called sensory deprivation, and it's not for the reason you think. You'll see why later, but it's not just its quiet level, trust me. It's classified as a class 5 difficulty, and it's because it's unsafe, it's because it's unsecure, and it's because it's infested with entities. In reality, it's just one entity and not actually an infestation, but it's bad. The level is mysterious, and the exact layout and the exact description of it is unknown to pretty much everybody. Partially because the first sentence of the level document says, quote, Level 909, hostile, file trunicated for protection, end quote. So whatever the original information was, or whatever the internet used to have, level 909 is pretty much unknown as of right now. However, I will be getting into some theories and my thoughts on what this level is, and if you want to stick around for that, I highly suggest it. But firstly, I want to get into the two short paragraphs that we have that describe the level, and they read as follows. Getting sent to this level is actually 100% a way to seal your fate. You will not make it out of this level at all, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that before I read the paragraph. This is genuinely, and I mean genuinely your last warning, click off if you get squeamish. The following quote from the level describes what will happen if someone does get sent here. Quote, Information about the level devoured violently. Observers reported forcible removal of eyes, ears, nose, tongue, performed by undisclosable entity. Victims remain conscious after mutilation. End quote. So, uh, yeah. Remember how I said this level was nicknamed Sensory Deprivation? You probably thought it was because it was some sort of deprivation tank, like in real life, where there's no sounds or light. But, uh, no, this level's called Sensory Deprivation because the entity that controls it removes all your senses, forcibly, while you're alive and while you're conscious. It mutilates your body and forces you to feel every ounce of pain possible. Hello everybody, I'm just popping in for a quick two announcements. Don't click off the video, this will be really fast. Number one. I have a podcast channel with a bunch of other YouTubers. It's called the Nightmare Blunt Rotation. We just hit a thousand subscribers, so go check out that channel. If you want to see me and some other guys get into some stuff, a bunch of other cool YouTubers on there, just go check it out. Second announcement, Spoogly is about to hit 100K. Spoogly, my third channel, guys, is about to hit 100,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for the support on that channel. If you don't know about it, I would recommend just go checking it out. I dive like really deep into disturbing and dark topics over there, and I really think you're gonna enjoy it. If you want more like me content, that's like a serious channel where I do deep dives and documentaries, I think you'll like it. That's all I got for you. Spoogly 100K, my podcast channel, go check them both out in the description below. The last thing I wanna say is just have a great day. Make sure you don't stress over things that you can't control, and make sure you tell somebody that you love them, all right? But yeah, I will see you at the end of the video as well, and thank you for watching, bye-bye. Somehow though, the next paragraph of the level might be worse than the first one. Quote, received transmission from victims, wet undulation, scraping, post-consumption, communication smell of blood and ozone, tastes coppery, dental growths considered abnormal, report immediately, end quote. Reading that was literally like nails on a chalkboard for me, I'm not gonna lie, that was actually disgusting. The process of all this pain is just wet and squelchy, and you can smell the rot and iron from yourself while it's happening. Now, a couple of audio recordings have been made of whatever this is happening to you, and you're going to hear that throughout the video, you're going to hear some now, but the following is the scraping noises that have been recorded. The scraping sound is always to be able to hear because this level is thought to be, you know, pitch black. And the scraping sound itself is your meat getting stripped off the bones, if you know what I'm saying. Again, while you're all conscious. The other interesting thing from that second paragraph is when it says, quote, dental growths considered abnormal. 
Now that's pretty interesting because as the paragraph said, the entity will remove your tongue. So it seems like the appendages from the entity will infect your mouth with something when it reaches in to grab your tongue and rip it out. Maybe bacteria can infect your gums and cause tumors to grow or something. I don't know, that's disgusting and somehow makes it even worse. So those two are the only paragraphs that we have about the level at all. And then underneath those two paragraphs, we get a link and a picture to the entity that does all this stuff to all the poor souls to get trapped in level 909. It's a pretty scary jump scare, I will say, and the image actually caught me off guard at first. I was writing the script at midnight and my brightness was all the way up on my laptop and it kind of just jumped out at me. Anyways, this is what it looks like. A fleshy, mucusy, red looking lump. What seems to be three appendages with teeth sticking out from it. It's absolutely disgusting to look at and it's even more gross when you realize that it uses those appendages to remove your senses. The entity does not have a name, and it doesn't have any lore behind it, but its actions and what it does to people who get sent here speak for itself, I think, and that gives it all the lore it needs. It also seems to physically consume all information that gets leaked about this level, and that's what the first paragraph meant when it said that all information about the level is devoured violently. The entity somehow consumes it physically. Of course, this is done through an unknown means, and that's also the reason that there's so little information about it. We have no real idea of anything about it. Just that one snapshot, what it might look like, and that's it. It does seem to have full control over the level's physical parts, though, and it can subdue wanderers who get sent there and then remove all their senses. It also seems to be confined to the level, which is nice. But there are no methods as of right now on how to survive the level, how to enter it, how to exit it, or any information like that. There's none available since the creature physically eats all of it. But since that's all we have, I do want to get into some theories on what the level might look like and what the entity might look like. In the picture of the entity that we have, we can see that the surroundings of it are dark. What seems to be a black wall right behind the creature. This, along with the name of the level, would imply that it's a very dark, very desolate place. I'm kind of thinking something like level 6, meaning that it's pitch black, and I would venture to say that level 909 is a labyrinth of hallways that are pitch black and have no natural light. I also assume that when you first get sent to this infinite dark labyrinth, you won't be able to see or hear anything, and you won't even know that there's an entity in this level until you hear its squelching and its breathing sounds getting closer to you. And once you hear those breathing sounds and those groanings, that's when you know you're not alone. And that's when the entity will hold you down and remove your senses and you'll be stuck here in this infinite liminal black maze where no one can hear your screams and no one can end the suffering. But that's just my theory. I mean, who really knows? It is unknown what the entity does to the victims after he takes away these senses, quote unquote, but it's assumed he keeps them alive as some sort of sick and twisted game. Maybe he has dinner with him. I don't know. Let me know your theories in the comments. Your guess is as good as mine, but we can only come up with some information because there's just two paragraphs and that one picture. That's all we have. So who knows? But my theory is that the level is a pitch black, van to black almost, hallway and room system where this entity lives and there's no light, no sounds or nothing and you won't even know that he's there until you hear those grotesque squelching and breathing sounds coming from further down the hallway closer and closer until he grabs you and starts ripping off your nose and eyes and ears and tongue. In the discussion part of the article where people can post stuff, the author linked a couple image sources that say what the entity might look like and these are the those images. One is of a bunch of these fish with small sharp teeth, and the other is some sort of reaper with a bunch of wet stuff on his mask. So I guess the entity is some sort of mashup between the reaper and then these sharp fish appendages as its arms that physically eat away at your senses bit by bit. Either way, it's absolutely awful to think about a level existing that's this gross and this horrible to get trapped in. I genuinely think it's probably one of the top three worst ways to go out in the back rooms and, and die even though it actually take a while to unalive since the entity keeps you alive through the entire process. That's probably the worst part. The entity keeps you sentient and alive somehow while it's ripping these parts off of you and depriving you of your senses. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed uh, that level. That was absolutely disgusting to read and research and hearing these sounds that they were in the video literally almost made me sick. That is disgusting, but that will be the last thing you hear when you get sent to this level. So hopefully I prepared you.
Thank you so much for watching for the end. I'm assuming this video will get to monetize, so hopefully you actually saw it. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. And if you want more videos like this, check back uh, later. I upload like three to four times a week. Also, check out my third channel, Spoogly, where I upload documentaries and morbid stuff like that. I try really hard on that channel, and it's growing, and I really cannot thank you all enough. Thank you so much for the success and growth on Brugly and Spoogly. I appreciate it. And um, the outro is already getting too long. So with all that said, I will see you in the next video.